Hey everybody, I'm Mikey G and today we'll be taking another look at water mixable oils. Now, there's a belief out there that water mixable oils dry more like an acrylic than an oil paint because, well, they're water mixable. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. Will they dry closer to a acrylic paint or more like a traditional oil paint as they should and see if we can prove it. We're going to do two different types of tests, one indoor, one outdoor, and we're going to have two different scenarios going on. One as a control, one as a variable. Now the control is just going to sit here in a studio environment and see how long it takes to dry. The other one will be in a separate area being blown on by a fan and uh, see how long it takes for them to dry in comparison. I'm going to set up two different types of piles of paint. One sort of piled like it would be on a palette and one as a swipe like it would be on a canvas. And we'll be testing cadmium yellow medium, we'll be testing red oxide light and an ultramarine in Cobra water mixable oils, Rembrandt traditional oil paints, and the uh, Amsterdam expert acrylics. Okay, so we've done our piles of paint as if it was more like in a palette and we've done our swatches to simulate more like on a canvas. So I think that what we'll do is leave this one here and we'll move this one to our fan spot. So let's get to it. Hello there old friend. Well, what we have now is our fan test. So I'm gonna turn our biggest fan on, let it hit the paint and see if this affects uh, drying time. We'll come back in a few hours and see how our paints are doing. Okay, so it's been uh, an hour exactly and there's no skin that's formed on the acrylic. There's no skin that's formed on the oil and no skin that's formed on the water mix of oil. Let's look at uh, where we've done the swatches and see if there's any differences. For the most part, the acrylics are dry to the touch. So uh, let's see how our oils are doing. That's all coming up, that's expected. Uh, it's an oil paint, it should stay open for a long time. Now comes the moment of truth, we're gonna look at the Cobra water mixable oils. Those are still completely wet. White oxide red, still wet. And the uh, ultramarine blue, still wet. Now let's check on our variable one test with the fan. With the wind blowing on it, uh, I expect there to be some skin on the acrylics and you can see that if I break the skin, you can get to some paint. As for the oil paints and water mixable oil paints, air has not done much to create any kind of change in their consistency. All of our acrylics, and let's see our blue, are completely dry. As for the oil paints, still wet, still wet, still wet. Now let's go to the Cobra. Okay, we're still wet with the Cobra. Still wet, still wet. This needs some more time to cook, but I think I'm gonna give it, uh, I don't know, a couple of hours this time instead of just one hour. We're coming back now three hours after uh, our last test to see where they've come along and we're back at our control. The Amsterdam acrylics have dried on the canvas where we've done the swipes, but the Rembrandt oils and Cobra water mixable oils are still wet. In terms of our piles of paint, they are all still wet. We're seeing some drying of the acrylic paint, but we're still just like out of the tube with the water mixable oils and traditional oil paint. But now let's take a look at our fan and uh, see how those guys are doing. Not only have the water mixable oils stayed open uh, longer on the palette, but the Amsterdam is all skinned over. Let's take a look at the swipes. We're still wet with our Cobra paint on uh, yellow. We're still wet on light oxide red and on our ultramarine. Okay, so we've let our paint sit overnight and I want to assure you that I own more than one of these shirts. So we know that our Amsterdam acrylics have completely dried on the swatches and we know that our Rembrandt Artist oil colors are still wet. The Cobra water mixable oils are kind of somewhere in between right now on the swatches. When it comes to the piles, the acrylic paint has dried on the outside to a thick skin, but both the oil paint and the water mixable oil paint are still wet and completely usable. But now let's take a look at our fan test and see how that one's coming along. We already know that our acrylics are dry and our Cobra is still wet and um, our piles are all still completely wet. When it comes to the swatches, the control uh, was a little bit more dry than the one with the fan with the air blowing on it. Not exactly the scientific method here, but as close as I can get within what I call artist science standards. I think you just coined a new term. Now our first experiment is finished. The second one is uh, more for you plein air painters out there. We're gonna see if the Cobra water mixable oil paints will stay open long enough so you can use them for a full day out on the field. We're gonna let this sit now and see if it stays wet. After an hour outside, we're starting to get a little bit of skin on our acrylic piles. The swipes are dry. Our water mixable oils are wet and our traditional oils are still wet. Here is the final test for plein air painting. What we're trying to figure out here is, 
can you go out for an entire day's worth of plein air painting and still uh, have wet paint using water mixable oil paints instead of traditional oils. Full day outside and uh, neither the oil or water mixable oil has skinned over on the palette or on the canvas. So the next time you want to go plein air painting and you think your only option is oil paint or watercolor, you know that water mixable oils will stay open just as long. Now that we have all of our test results, we had our control, we had our fan test, and we had our plein air test, we can look at some of the commonalities that happened with all of them. With all of them, the uh, acrylic paint dried extremely quickly um, in both the swatches and for the most part in the palette piles that we laid out. At no point uh, throughout a 48 hour period did the water mixable oils or traditional artist oils uh, ever dry or skin over. They stayed open the entire time. Now, when it came to the swatches, we did get about a 24 hour open window with the water mixable oils where the uh, Rembrandt artist oil colors continue to stay wet after 48 hours. And our acrylics have all dried fairly quickly within a few hours of laying them out. When you have water and you have oil, they are both what is making your paint moist and wet, and water will evaporate faster than oil. So your acrylic paint, which is all water, evaporates quickly, where your water mixable oil paint is actually an oil paint which dries slowly. Now a water mixable oil can be thinned with water, that's no problem, uh, but it will speed up the drying time because that is cutting water into where oil might have been. If you want to avoid this situation, however, I would recommend Cobra's uh, water mixable oil color painting medium. And this will allow you to thin your paint without having to sacrifice drying time. So I hope you uh, learned something about water mixable oils in terms of how they dry. They're going to have a much longer open time than that of acrylic paint um, and much closer to that of a traditional artist oil color. So hope you enjoyed this series of Prove It and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. All right, here is our third and final test. We're gonna do our field test to see if I can tell which is a water mixable oil and acrylic or a traditional oil paint. So here we go. Uh, it feels like uh, an acrylic. That feels, that feels like poo. This is a stupid test idea. Do we really need to do this one? Seriously. It feels like poop.